pretty good in the corner. Now they'll pitch out to Deal. Deal kick out the three pointers up and in and one. The foul is going to go against Randolph's Kylie Stark. She challenged Hannah Malik on the three. It should be 50. Generals lead the break the other way. And on the wing, it's number 32, Hughes. Hughes skips it across. Malik for three this time, no travel. Got it out just in the nick of time, all the way out front. Malik from 22. Oh, that's a big three right there. Deal. Back right side, Horn. Long three from way downtown. Goodness gracious, Malik. Bobby, the 15-point maroon lead is now just four. Yeah, Coach Harvey, again, is not with us today, and nothing but high praise for Kelsey Long in the way she stepped up third year with the fair program. How about that for Hannah Malik, who hit 300 three-pointers for Athens Drive High School down in Raleigh. It's her first in a Washington and Lee home game. She's had a handful in the first two contests on the road. Generals, here's Malik, always ready to shoot. Pure for her second tray. Every dead ball. O'Connor and Addison have come back out there. Fowler, Malik, and Deal complete the Generals five. Deep three for Malik, nothing but net. That's nine for Malik. Already a new career high on the three makes from beyond the arc. 7% from the field. Malik, another one, yes. That's four already for Hannah Malik, who was four of nine coming in through the first two games. She's connected on all four of her attempts here in this first half, and now the Panthers throw it away. Horn flings it to O'Connor. Now Malik, her first look of the second half is good. Fifth of the game for Malik. Washington and Lee has matched the program record with 14 made three pointers. Up some full court pressure. Washington and Lee will skip it over the top of that press. They've got numbers. Malik not shy to shoot, and that's why. She had five of those against Ferrum in her first home game on Sunday. Knocks down her first three-point attempt of the game to make it a three-point margin. It's at five foot ten, not giving her anything down low. Run a set play for Malik. Riley Jones, the initial closeout, but Malik with the shot fake to get her out of the way, and then cans her second three. E H is now ten of twelve. Washington and Lee hasn't taken a free throw in the second half, but the Generals were nine of ten in the first twenty minutes. Another lead change, the Wasps by one. Another lead change as Hannah Malik drills her third three. First points for the Hornets leading score, Sarah Sandro. Averaging just over 14 a game. Clean look for Hannah Malik, and that's usually what happens when she's open. More makes than misses from beyond the arc. So far for the rookie from Raleigh. The horn will sound. And the hive is spoken. By the way, that's our third made bucket at the horn tonight as Malik puts one in to make the final score 75-59. Lynchburg ends the two-game skid against WNL with a decisive victory. Lindsay, Lizzie Davis leading the way for all players today. 29 points, 13 of 20 from the field. Aaron Hughes in there for Jessica Jennings for her first two. Addison, bullet pass to Hughes who has to save it. it leads to a good look for Malik and she cans the three. Hughes kept the ball alive and Hannah Malik shooting 54% in the first six games of her college career. 54% from beyond the arc. And now the generals. Still an 11-point general's advantage, 43 seconds to go. Long three for Malik, good. 
get the impression that her shooting range is anywhere inside the building. And if you give her space even five feet beyond the arc, she might make you pay. Good look for beyond Jennings. the arc. Jennings answer no good. Addison runs the floor, sets up Malik, always ready to shoot. And Hannah Malik nails another three, and Washington and Lee has a 28-point first half lead. Another timeout taken here by the Marlins. And during this stoppage here, we will pause and uh, pay tribute to the Washington and Lee men's basketball. Jordan Deal got the takeaway. O'Connor lost her balance right as she was trying to lay that up. Vandiver's put back no good. Comes out to Hannah Malik, who hits the three and draws the foul. She scored her first career points on a four-point play in the season opener at Randolph. Which, by the way, not the uh, most fantastic or dramatic way that Washington and Lee players have scored their first points in a game at Randolph. As for two of the Marlins, you would imagine we'll have a chance to get back to where they were for so long under Stephanie Dunmire in the upper echelon of uh, ODAC women's basketball. Hannah Malik hits another three. And Washington and Lee up to 100 points. And the Generals back in possession. Malik is up to 19 points. And now she's up to 22. Already had a career high even before that bucket. Her sixth three-pointer. She hasn't missed. Six of six from three. Already came in shooting above 50% from beyond the arc. Jones lost it. Laner got it. Certainly did not play their best ball the last time they got together. Hannah Malik continuing her hot streak. She was seven for seven from the field against Virginia Wesleyan. Six of six from long range. Comes in off the bench and drills her first attempt. You know, averaging 10 points a game is not easy, especially when you're coming off the bench. So she's definitely an impact player in a game like this. Three-second violation on Lynchburg. And to further that point, she's averaging 15 minutes per game. So mm. close to a point a minute in Very the time that she's, that she's in the game. So exactly, efficient is the correct word. If you can get that coming off the bench, it makes you a very dangerous team. Definitely. Not just a good shot, but the best shot. Quick pass to Malik. That's the person to get it to. If you're playing for the Generals, that is eight for eight, com combining last game to she shows it right there to make it a 12-point game. You know, sometimes, you know, that first free throw is like, oh, it's just, you know, practice. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Hannah Malik, how in the world can she do this? I don't know. She just lets it go with all the confidence in the world, and that's what they need right now. It's incredible. Malik is now... Three of four from long range. I don't remember her missing one, but according to the stats, she did. And Davis. And every player has really bought into their role, you know? Like, whatever their specialty is, they've stuck to that, and they haven't tried to. I mean, we can't. I, I don't know what to say anymore. Speaking of specialty <laughs> right now, Hannah Malik's specialty is just pulling up from well beyond the arc. It's shutting the defense up. It's shutting the commentators up. I couldn't even finish my sentence. <laughs> 14 points for Hannah Malik off the bench. And we get a whistle and a timeout. 83-72. Lynchburg looking to advance to the ODAC finals for the first time since 2017. They lost to Guilford that day. It was their third straight appearance in the ODAC tournament championship. They lost to Virginia Wesleyan in 20. 14 or 2015. I've been
good job. Okay, double spring. she gets the ball. Malik will try it from deep and she finally gets one to go. And that's a player you really don't want to see get hot in this game if you're on the Panthers side. Quick pass up to Actor. Out to the corner for Malik and she responds. She's starting to get it going. Andrew, two threes in the half. Such a big shot there from Malik. Really felt like the momentum could be shifting in favor of the Panthers. Malik responding right away with a triple of her own. Also remove. There's Martin now. But good help from Malik who cut off that pass. It's great rotation defense. Malik is wide open for three. And puts it in. Started walking back to half court before it even went in. That's our third three-pointer of the game and of the half. Malika player, you just can't leave that open on the perimeter. Shot clock under seven seconds now. Malik from three is good again. What a Fourth shot three-pointer of the game. Makes her four for seven now. Incredibly efficient three-point shooting from Hannah Malik. Malik wide open on the wing. Malik from the corner. That's good. 17 points for Hannah Malik. Her right hand is red hot in the second half. Malik again from deep gets it to go. Another timeout called by Coach Harvey. Hannah Malik has broken the 20 point mark. Oh my goodness. Where has she been? Saving it all for the second half it seems. Maybe better late than never from Hannah Malik. Now six for 10 from three. Really can't ask for much better than that. Shooting a better percentage than the generals are from the field goal. here. Actor makes the extra pass up top and that three is good. Good shot there from Hannah Mallet there now dishing it out. Moving it around as Malik gets that three to fall. Big shot there and the lead's only 10. 
Thrown up there from Malik, no good. Dorda again comes down with it. Back out to Malik, another open three. That one's good. And now we'll have a timeout called by Catholic. They're just holding it too long. Yeah! That's more like it. Woo! Yeah! Let's go! Ever woo! Come on. get the generals going on the break. Out to Malik, early three-pointer for her, and that's good. Three points for Hannah Malik. Uh, the last time we saw her on the stream and at home, she tied her own record with six threes in a game. Um, previously, she had set that record against Virginia Wesleyan in the quarterfinal. And now she's already matched how many points she's had, or she had against the Hornets. Quakers swinging around to Woods. So come inside. That shot is no good. Malik, I think, lost her headband, but play goes on. Here's Horn wide open in the corner. Is Malik for three? That's good. Second three of the game. Second field goal as well. Six points for the sophomore. No good. It's a turnover by Kennedy. Malik got to it. Actor now gives it up to Horn. That pass just mishandled by Malik, so she couldn't get a layup. Drags it out for three. McMillan didn't close out as hard as she needed to. Malik with 15 points and gets the steal. Can't she get another one? Dagger three for the sophomore. 18 points for number 20 in blue and white. Huge six-point swing there for the Generals and Hannah Malik. All of a sudden, the lead is 17. She passes right there. There we go. Let's get one. Right there. That's the 
Indian. Yeah! We got one. Doesn't take the three-pointer, instead kicks it to Malik. She's wide open. Good. You cannot leave Hannah Malik open, a 39% three-point shooter, and it's 10-7, just like that. Malik already with five points. Shiflet between the circles. Short jumper. Rebound collected underneath as it's taken away from Shiflet, and then the three outside to Malik. As the Eagles... Here's to deal. Kick to the corner. Malik open again for three. And again hits it. You got to cover her at some point. 47-26. The deficit 21. Mary Ruth yeah, looks to drop. Wide open. Woo! There you go. Get in there, please. Yeah. He finally says Malik. Get going, girlfriend. Get going. Drive it. Yeah. Finally. See, she does that better. Oh. Woo. There you go. Oh, and one. And one. Where? Yeah. We got one. Finally. Hey, good ball movement. Malik is wide open in the corner. Can't leave her open from there. Pretty much everyone on the Marlins bench knows how dangerous she is from behind the arc. First hand in fact. Keep going. Let's go. Come on. Keep one. Don't be afraid. There you go. It makes the hard ones out here. Yeah. Two for two to start this second half, coming out on fire, pushing that lead to a 16-point lead. Double hand off, double hand off, drive it. Yeah! Ah! That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Woo! There you go. Yeah! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, okay. Turn around, Hannah, turn around. She just goes, sits in the corner. Right open, whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. That's what you gotta do. Be ready to shoot. There you go, go. Turn, turn, turn. Look at him, look at him. Yeah, but she yeah. dribbled. The dribble gets her settled. Did they call time? All day. Oh my God. Woo! Oh, Jordan. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. yeah! Thank God. Let's go. Just match. Deal. Here's Groninger, Malik, wide open from three this time, and she gets it to go. One of two to start for her. Deal. Groninger. Malik cannot go under the screen on her, and that's exactly why. Three more points for the sophomore. Scarborough to keep possession. Malik, another quick trigger, and that's good. Malik is on fire to start. Nine points of the Generals 14. Well, well beyond the three point line. Nice behind the head cut by Vandiver. Out to Actor. Now Deal. Great ball moving from the Generals. Malik gets another one. Fourth three pointer of the game and of the half. That was pretty open. Malik for three. That's good. 15 points for the sophomore as it's back down below single digits. Find out, we'll take a short break. Come down to Whole Camp Gym for the start of the final period of regular. Five seconds, five seconds. Short. Yeah, we got it. We got the one. Oh, Uh, Christine Clancy, the head coach for Washington and Lee. Everybody get some playing time. Three ball launched as the shot clock went off. And it's good for Hannah Mellon. Her first three of the game. Now a 12 point lead. A do first double digit lead of the ball game. Kamara turning around. And the Royals defend that 12 point lead. And another three made by Hannah Malik. Now she's feeling it. Almost a 40% three-point shooter, and that's a timeout. By Jenny Posey, try to get control before this gets too far away from him. A 15-point lead for the general. Six for Jordan Deal and Hannah Malik with her two three-pointers, and six as well. EMU Athletics come up with a couple of stops and get back in this one. A couple of stops and get back in this one. Long three. Oh, wow. Malik, as I mentioned, a 40% three-point shooter as it is, and is three for four. She has nine points to lead all scores. You can't leave a gunner like that that open. Out of there by Addison, and Addison gets to Malik, who's in range when she catches the ball. 
Hannah Malik has three three-pointers. Go in. Yeah! yeah. 